Hello YouTube, hi this is Raza. Um, I will be showing you today how to connect your uh, 450D uh, or Canon XSI with your uh, Mac computer to actually look up on the screen and be able to take pictures while looking up on your screen. So um, first of all you need to do is just connect your XSI with your Mac. So I, I, I already have it connected, I'm just going to turn it on. So once you turn it on, uh, if you know you'll see your iPhoto or Photoshop will pop up just like right here um, you can actually change the pr in the preference if you want uh, your iPhoto to pop up all the time or your um, uh, your Photoshop I have it iPhoto I like it like that so I just have it right here anyway so this is all uh, this is uh, so my my Canon is actually connected with my uh, with my computer right now so now I will be I will actually um, uh, show you how you actually be able to connect it like right here so uh, there are a couple of softwares that you would need. They actually come uh, are in the CD that comes with the with the Canon. So the softwares are Digital Photo Professional and US Utility. You'll click. You need US Utility to actually look up um, from your monitor um, to your uh, from your from the monitor. So basically, once you click on it, this is gonna pop up. This is how it looks like. If your if your if your um, camera is not connected with the computer, these will not highlight. So if you see like they are not highlighted, just don't be you know any kind of nervous or anything. Just wait and give it a second or two, and it'll pop up. Anyways, so once this is up, just click right here, camera setting and remote shooting. When you click right here, this thing will pop up right here. This is basically your control panel, and these will this will actually. You know, I was very amazed to see that you can actually do everything from this control panel about your camera. So right here, this is the live view. As you can see, uh, you just heard the click on my my uh, DSLR as well right here. So this is how it looks like. I'm going to move it just to show you around that this is connected right here and I'm looking at my computer. Um, so right here and then uh, this is all connected. Basically, you can do a lot of changes over here. You can do your white balance. Uh, you can also uh, look up your uh, red, green, and blue settings right here. Um, basically, also once once this is up um, and you're okay with the with the picture that you want to take, let's see if I want to take my screenshot right here. So let's see. I know my table is very dirty right now, so but let it go be like that. Um, so basically, once this is up. You can see ISO settings and focal length. Uh, let's see if I can play with it. Let's let's try something different over here this time as well. Let me change it. See if it's well. It's not letting me change it. Anyways, okay, it is. So you change it right here. Um, 3.5 let's let's leave it leave it like that right here and let's take a picture now so we're, we're gonna take a picture just click right here this is how you this is the you know your trigger click right here and this will take a picture once the picture is taken you'll see a quick preview just popping up and uh, it will be coming up in any minute right here this is how it looks like that's the same picture that we just took um, so hopefully that this video is uh, um, helpful for people that are actually trying to uh, connect their camera with their computer or you know I, I think the good idea over here is to have actually have it all connected to your tripod stand like you know have a tripod stand set up and you're actually looking up through your computer and just you know be a geek of your photography you know so anyways I uh, hope this was information uh, informative and if there is any questions please uh, don't hesitate to ask me and uh, I will appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you very much and uh, goodbye.